One year has passed since the end of the great conflict between Dana and Rena. The two worlds have finally joined and literally merged into one. A single planet now exists, teeming with all six elements, as it always should have. But with a new world, comes a new set of problems. Unprepared for the changes thrust upon them, Danans and Renans now find themselves forced to live side by side. And though the initial chaos of the Great Convergence has faded, the people of this new world are realizing that some scars are not so easily healed. And so, our journey continues. There she is! Don't let her get away! After her! <sighs> this way! Right! <sighs> She's gone! There's no way! She's gotta be nearby! Find her! The weather is so nice today. It's a shame we can't enjoy it with all these zoogles around. Stay alert, Xion. Danger could be lurking in the shadows. <laughs> I could say the same to you. If you get injured, it's going to hurt now, you know. So, the mausoleum is somewhere around here? That's what I heard. We'll have to get more details from Bayfon when we meet up with him in the city. I wonder if the others have already arrived in Nies by now. It'll be good to see them again. It's been so long since we were all together. Hmm? Hey, you! Did you see a Renan brat around here? You're looking for a child? A Renan? Yeah, that's right. And get this. That kid is the daughter of a lord! A lord? Hey, wait a sec! That there on your back... Is that... No mistake, it is! You're THE Blazing Sword, aren't you? <sighs> oh, he is! Talk about Lucky! Lucky? What do you mean? Even if she's just a kid, she's still the daughter of a Renan Lord. But if we've got you with us, we'll have nothing to fear. Sorry, but I can't help. Hey, you gotta be kidding me, man! She's a Lord's daughter! They're your enemy, right? <sighs> You're the Blazing Sword! It's just common sense that you'd help us! to think of it. Rumor has it he's been traveling with some bright-eyes chick. Wait, is that why? And what if it is? Is that a problem? Forget about it. Let's get out of here. 
A lord's daughter, huh? I wonder whose. Regardless of who it may be, it doesn't make chasing her down okay, now does it? You're right, of course. Let's go find her before anyone else does. Didn't we find a recipe that... Yeah, we can use this for it. Let's get this over with. Yeah, I'm worried about that girl. Here I come! Rising Wyvern! Strike! You're on! Strike! Thrust! I'm not done! You got flyers! I've got this! Let him fight for the handle! Strike! All yours! Slash! Swallow Blade! Slash! Swallow Blade! Like I'm not needed. Then why don't you have a seat and relax? No. Hey. Here I go. And again. I'm all stuck. Where are you going? Uh, not today. Hear me, flame of fury, burning strike. You're mine. You're finished. You're on. Sonic thrust. Pierce. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hurt you, okay? <clears throat> You're the daughter of a lord, aren't you? <sighs> you can relax. We'd heard people were after you. Sort of, Anna? Is there any way we can help you? Why? What do you mean? You're being chased, aren't you? I'm fine. Don't worry. 
Okay, but... It's dangerous to be out here all alone. Won't you at least come with us to Nia's? That's where I got kicked out of. Bayfon should be in Nia's, right? I want to know what's going on. If you come with us, I'm sure we can get this straightened out. If we go our separate ways, we won't cause each other any problems. Problems? What kind of problems? Why? We just want to help. Isn't that enough? <laughs> we help people. It's who we are. You may think we're weird, but it's true. I'm Xion. This is Elfin. Nazamil. Nazamil? Is that your name? Uh, hey! We're going to Nia's, aren't we? Uh, right. Nice to meet you, Nazamil. Driving out a child? Just because she's Renan? Racial tensions still run deep here. But that doesn't mean we're giving up, right? Right. Of course. What could this be? Gotta break through! Lightning! Coming Death through! Blow. Pierce through! Rising Wyvern! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! With your flames and my technique? We're stronger together than we... What happened in Nies, Nasmil? <laughs> don't worry. You don't have to tell us if you don't want to. Shion! Shion! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. It has. You're both looking well. Never been better. Well, just talking about us, though. There's apparently some trouble in town. Kisara, Dohalim. The gang's all here. So, what's this trouble you mentioned? 
Renans have returned to the city, living alongside the Danans here. There were a lot of vacant houses after the mess with Almadria, right? Some refugees from Lenegas have taken up residence in them. Bayfon decided to take them in, but not everyone has been so welcoming. That's putting it lightly. The situation's a bit of a powder keg. The smallest spark could set it off. So Renans do live here. If that's the case, then why... Oh! Who's that? This? This is Nazamil. I'm Rinwell. And this here is Hoodle. Nice to meet ya. Woo! Some Danans from around here are after her. Because her father is a lord. A lord? I see. So she draws more attention than your average Renan, then. We've brought her along so we can at least figure out what's going on. Plus, there's the mausoleum issue. Let's go see Bayfon. You see, we were actually just there, but he's out and we couldn't meet with him. Then, for now, how about we take Nazamil to the area where the Renans live? Huh, not a bad idea. You okay with that, Nazamil? <sighs> Nice to meet you, Nazamil. I'm Kisara. I hope you'll feel free to talk to me anytime. I am Dohalim Ilkaris. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Dohalim? The Lord? Former Lord. These days, I am simply the man you see before you. Nothing more. I'd hardly say you're nothing more. <laughs> What could this be? It's good to see you guys, but with the city being so on edge, it's hard to relax. The Renans and Danans here don't trust each other. This place is a far cry from Vicent. 
What about Pelegian? You took in most of the refugees from Lenigus, didn't you? I've settled them on different levels of the city, so contact between the two cultures is minimal. Better to gather all the Renans in one place to avoid unnecessary conflicts, huh? And with the Lord guy here in charge, no one can do anything too crazy. Come on. He's carrying out his duties as the Renan representative. But if that's true, are you sure it's okay to leave the city? Fortunately, I have people there I can rely on. Leaving for a short while shouldn't be a problem. And Kisara, you're the captain of those new troops in Vicent, right? That's right. The Service Corps. We're made up of former members of the Guard and armored soldiers. We serve as the people's shield in the new era. I'm not used to teaching so many new recruits, but I'm managing somehow. Rinwell, you're in Vicent too, aren't you? Is your nose still stuck in a book all the time? Uh, yep. There are too many books to read, so I always end up cooped up at home. Hey, you go out sometimes. Like when you're investigating the ruins. You seem to know a lot about it. Oh, uh, not really. It's just that sometimes I guard caravans as part of the Crimson Crows, you know? So whenever I stop by Vicent, I pop in to help with stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, what have you been up to, Alfin? Are you and Xion still traveling around as usual? Yeah. I don't feel ready to settle down in one place just yet. Xion? Sorry. It's been a while, but it doesn't feel like anyone's changed, you know? You're right. It really feels like the old days. <sighs> I know we've got a lot of catching up to do, but Nazamil must be getting bored by now. Oh, you're right. Sorry, Nazamil. I don't mind. I wonder what the Renans here were doing when Nazamil was being chased down. She doesn't seem too excited to see them. You think they had something to do with it? I'm not sure. It's possible. Nazamil? What are you doing back here? Away with you! You don't belong here. How many times do we have to say it? How could you say such a thing? She's a Renan just like you, and a child at that. Hmm. If it isn't the Blazing Sword, the very person who destroyed our society, you're one to talk. You Renans value lineage and social standing, don't you? Nazamil is the daughter of a lord. Her father was a lord, yes. He was the esteemed Lord Urwagil Hildris, the former water lord. Urwagil, the lord who preceded Volron. But that girl's mother is just some embedded nobody! <laughs> Her mother is a Danon? The blood of a glorious lord mixed with that of a lowly slave. It's repugnant. That girl is no Renan. Every one of us here agrees on that. Uh, hey! <sighs> Bastards just spewed their hatred and left. A child with both Danon and Renan blood. Is that even possible? In the old world, I'd heard rumors that it happened on rare occasions. Not of any children that reached her age. You knew this would happen, didn't you? Why didn't you say something, even though you knew it would be painful? It was too much to explain, and I'm in no pain. But it's wrong to judge someone because of how they were born. <laughs> Let's go back to look for Bayfon. It's better than staying here. You said you weren't in any pain, but is that really true? Why do you ask? Is it possible you just got used to the pain? I can't remember. Yeah! Yeah.
Rayfon. Wow, look who it is. It's been a while, hasn't it? Huh? Nazamil. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. So, some of the refugees we took in from Lenigus knew of Nazamil's identity, huh? The situation in Niez is delicate, to say the least. So I thought it would be better if I sent her to Besint. I guess some unhappy residents went after her before she could make it there. Yeah. That's why I went looking for her as soon as I found out. It's fortunate that you found her first. I would just send her off on her way, but she may be attacked again. Yes, that is true. However, it would be just as dangerous for her to stay here, too. Well, okay then. Why don't we escort her to Vicent ourselves? But what about while we're at the mausoleum? Things being as they are, she can't just wait around here. <laughs> or we could take her with us to the mausoleum. It's dangerous to send her off, and it's dangerous for her to stay. She'll be safest with us there to protect her. I'm fine with protecting her, but doesn't the mausoleum have its own dangers? You're right, that is a concern. However, with all of us there, I think we'll be okay. Sounds good to me. After all, it's better to stick together than split up. We can head back to Vicent after we finished at the mausoleum. Is that okay with you, Nazamil? Sure. Just where is the mausoleum anyway? In the ruins at Adan Lake. It's pretty deep in, so you'll need to be cautious. It's easy to forget in Menencia, but the enmity between Danans and Renans still runs deep. Hearts and minds cannot change as quickly as circumstances. We must be patient. I guess that's a mature way of looking at it. Yeah! Huh? Hey! All right! Just a minute. Say what? Just great. Yeah! The smallest spark could set these Danans and Renans against each other. Glad we managed to extinguish this one early. Just thinking about how tense the situation is makes me anxious. It is a deep-rooted issue that will not easily be solved. True. It will need to be dealt with eventually. And we have to do whatever we can to see it through. Help. How? 
All right? <sighs> well... Hmm... Okay. Alfin. Running out of food is a serious issue, no matter the reason. No one should have to stop eating before they're full. That hits a bit different coming from you. Let us resolve this matter with haste. Don Lake? Gonna be tricky with all those giant zoogles running around. Oh? I would have assumed you'd be itching for an excuse to fight them. Well, you know, I'm a bit more of a grown-up now. I don't think that's something actual grown-ups say. What? You're... Hmm. Yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> w what? Hmm? He only acted strange when he was talking to Rinwell, but it seemed to me that his attitude had changed a little. Yeah. He was missing that sense of ill will he had before. What? Oh, I don't mind if you don't. This is what we were... No choice! Eat oh. this! Oh. Oh. Be more careful. Swallow oh. 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 them! Kisara! Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Cycle! Hold up! Is this as valuable as I think it is? What could this be? As I recall, there's a recipe we've yet to try. Yeah, this is the last ingredient we need. 
Then let's go ahead and prepare it. I wonder if something happened. Hey, didn't we find a recipe that... Yeah, we can use this for it. Yeah! Huh? You're... Impressive man. He's gone from being a tool of the Renans to having his own boat, as well as the people's adoration. When his ship got sucked down into the sea, I was sure he was a goner. It was such a relief to find out he's okay. A captain's got to be tough as nails if he wants to lead his crew. There. It's Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! See that? that training's paying off! That'll bring you down! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Let's refrain from losing. Let's see what you've got. Less talking, more pummeling. Seems about right to me. What could this be? Retreat if you know what's Flame good for you. Far enough! First strike! Rising Rivers! Hold on to your arm! Here I come! No further! He who prepares is free. He who prepares is free. As the storm passes, my heart desires the moon and a cup. The act of putting one's feelings into words. This could be considered a conversation with one's very self. Wow, that's really thought-provoking. Huh, don't be fooled by the flowery language. He's just saying he wants a drink. I won't forgive you! Resonate with the earth! Don't get careless. That looks like the Zoogle we were told about. Coming through! Searing Tempest! And that's first wheel! Flare, I'm ready! Where are you going? Not much longer to go! Come on! One final push! Here! Let's do this together! Leave the ensnare and play the game. No bed in this building. Take this! I think we've wiped out enough of these Zoogles by now, right? It should be safer for a while. All right. Let's report back to Mahavar's crew.
Let's go! All right! Hmm... <laughs> okay! What? <sighs> There's something liberating about sea travel. Mahavar and his crew seem so free. I think you'd make a great sailor, Law. I'd probably enjoy sailing as well. If I didn't get so seasick. They say the mausoleum is deep inside the Adon Lake ruins. Stay close, Nazamil. I'll be fine. No back in there! Flame of Dragon! 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 Coming through. Hey, I'm this. surrounded! Still at night! Burning in a bind! On your own! Time to use my shield! All finished! It's Kurt and Sarge. I knew you could do it, Shion. I have an endorsement. No surprise there. Is everyone all right? Sure. Of course, man. What could this be? No back here, though! Blair, they're above us. Shion, you know what to do. It's my turn. Yeah. Go get him, Shion. Finally. W what is it? I found an ingredient for that new recipe. What could this be? Is that the Zugul we're looking for? Get lost! Shine. Radiant light! I can Four carve through all of them! Burning Dragon! 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 We work well together. On Do it! I think we've taken out enough Zoogles, don't you? I agree. Let's report back to Niaz. There's something in the water. This one will be difficult to predict. Get out of this! Sorry to trouble you. Crush! You should have messed with me! Get on the way! I'm sorry, sir. You let free! You're the same for me! Hear me! Flame of fury! Not in your dreams! Sword right up! I'll crush you! Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! First strike! Ready to go! Stop! Stop! I'll bring you back from death to this. So much for sitting this far down. No, that is silly. I think it's dead. It weakens. I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! First strike! Hear me! Flame of fury! I'll bring you back from death to bits! Let's go to the 
Don't push yourself too hard. Achoo! Catching a cold? Here, have this. The mausoleum is just up ahead, huh? Careful. There might be Zoogles around, so. Uh, what? Oh, that wasn't you? Then. Are you hungry? No, I. I that wasn't. It's perfectly normal for your stomach to growl when you're hungry. It's nothing to be ashamed or embarrassed about. As long as it's not you, I guess. What was that? Uh, nothing. It's not a good idea to take on a mausoleum on an empty stomach. Why don't we eat first? Great idea, Alfin. Oh, it's been a while since I last had Kisara's cooking. We're not putting it all in Kisara. We're going to cook together. Really, I'm not... It seems everyone's in the mood to cook. If it's not too much trouble, we'd love for you to join us. Mm. I had an idea for something we could make with what we have on hand, but it looks like I'm still short on a few ingredients. Luckily, I think we can find them around here. No problem. Let's start looking. Nazamil, do you have any foods you particularly like or dislike? Um... Not really. Nothing in particular? That would make you a lot easier to deal with than a certain somebody. Hey! Don't act like I'm a picky eater! No one said she was talking about you. It's been a while since we all ate together. I'm looking forward to this. That's fine. Just... Just don't make anything spicy. I know, I know. Okay, Nazamil? Has he always been your pet? We've been together for years now. But he's more like family than a pet. Family? Hey, isn't that what we're looking for? Oh, wait! It's right here. What could this be? Well, that's strange. I wasn't expecting us to find a teleporter while looking for ingredients. I wonder where it leads. Regrettably, it looks like this one's target coordinates were never set. Until someone enters a destination, it's useless. Hmm. It's weird to find a teleporter out on its own like this. <laughs> huh? Nazumil, everything okay? What is that? Some kind of decoration? Looks like a Danin relic. This is a land full of ruins, so it's not at all unusual. That looks familiar for some reason. I'm sure I've seen it before. Hmm. That's right! It's a good luck charm! I saw an illustration in an old book once. Does it have some kind of special power? Nah, nothing like that. This is the sort of thing you give to your family, or someone special, so you can feel connected with them, no matter how far apart you may be. I guess the way people express their feelings is the same now as it was back then. I don't need it. I don't have anyone like that. Well, in that case, can I hold on to it then? Sure, I don't care. Okay. Why don't we head for the campsite and start cooking? We've got all the ingredients, so now it's time to show everyone what I can do. Isn't this exciting, Nazamil? Huh? I think I'll try to make that new recipe with this. All right, but I'll decide how spi- What's the point of all this money if you don't treat yourself now and again? Life is unpredictable. The more you have saved, the better. Aw, listen to you, Kisara. I told you you were the team, Mom. Hmm. 
Mmm. Looks perfect and tastes just as good. I'm stuffed. It's nice eating with everyone like this, don't you think? Indeed. It feels so liberating to relax under this beautiful sky. Moments like these are priceless. Especially given how much you've been cooped up in your office lately. You've earned a break. <laughs> hey, you okay? You don't look too good. Are you feeling sick? I'm fine. It's just that it's a little uncomfortable. I've almost never eaten with others. Oh, because both Danins and Renans... Well, what about your family? I don't know anything about my mother. I've never met her. What about your father? My father would only visit when he needed me for something. And when he did, he would yell and beat me. The other members of my house did the same. Wh what So no. We didn't share meals. Well then, I guess that makes us the first. Huh? Let me tell you a secret. You see, when you eat with people you're close to, it always makes food taste that much better. Why is that? Hmm. That's a good question. I suppose it's because when we share the same food, we're also sharing the joy of it. Not only that, conversations are more lively when you're eating good food, too. Food tastes better when it's shared. There's more to a meal than simply filling your stomach. And knowing that is part of what motivates people to cook a good meal. Um... Mm -hmm. The food was really good. <laughs> Let's eat together again, okay? Mm. Our bellies are full, so now let's burn off those calories by finding the mausoleum! Uh, take this seriously, would you? Nazmiel's going to get tired of your stupid jokes. Jeez, I wasn't even joking. <laughs> you know, there's something about Nazmiel that reminds me of Dohalim. She's... Elegant. Yes, exactly! My family was strict about manners. N no surprise there. Your father being a lord. Law, you can be so insensitive sometimes. I don't mind. My house is gone now anyway. That was back on Lenegas, right? When did you come down to Dana? When my father joined the crown contest as a lord, we came down together. Oh yeah, Ganeth Harrow's, right? But didn't Voron... <clears throat> Why are you asking anyway? Why? <laughs> the more we know about each other, the quicker we can become friends, right? Is that how all of you became friends? I suppose so. Getting to know each other is an important step in learning to understand one another. It can be difficult to trust a stranger, but once you understand them better, you can move toward becoming friends. Still, why don't we change the topic to something more cheerful? I... don't know any cheerful topics. I noticed while we were eating that you have really good table manners, Nazamil. Is that something you were taught on Lenigus? Yes. I had to memorize everything. I'd get hit if I made a mistake. Oh. Isn't that what we were asked to find? We've gathered enough food supplies. Now to deliver it to the Renans and Nye. As... I think it's safe to rest here now. Gotcha! <laughs> Say what?! Yeah! 
I hope Niaz can change too. Seeing his mind change like that, it gave me hope that we're making progress, little by little. Well, well, Law. That doesn't sound like you. <laughs> what can I say? I'm wise beyond my years. Yeesh, don't be so humble. Though, I guess you have been a bit more reliable lately. I guess. That was splendid work, Dohalim. To resolve a conflict like this, all parties involved need to recognize their unconscious biases. Stepping in and presenting the facts from an outside perspective can help people change their way of thinking. We learned about each other by working together, too. The people of Niez will also see eye to eye someday. We just have to trust in that. 